morning. Good morning to you, Catherine. You were standing by Good morning. for us. That can't it, be on the hop. <laughs> it, uh, it just looked so gorgeous that we couldn't wait till a quarter to nine. We said oh, we have wait. to have it now. <laughs> okay. Now, well, the first thing we need is two pound loaf tin yeah. with a either greased line or with a, a lining palette that I use there. Now, all you do, Alan, you put the liquid ingredients into the mixing bowl and then you add the dry ingredients. Liquid ingredients are one egg, one tablespoonful of um, golden brown sugar. You can use regular sugar if you wish. Now, to that, we're going to add a quarter pint of natural yogurt. Now, you can flavour up the yogurt if you wish, Alan, but to be honest, I find the natural yogurt works pretty well with this. So we just put the natural yogurt through. Mm -hmm. Now, you can use the Greek yogurt or regular yogurt. We just tip that in. Now, to that, we're going to add some oil and some honey. And a tip, I've given it before, of course. Have your spoon in some boiling water, and then the oil or the honey will just slide off it for you. Yeah. One, two... Three tablespoonfuls of oil and three tablespoonfuls of honey, which we have here. We can get it open. Here we go. Now, so we just see when the spoon is hot, Alan, the, the oil or the honey or the treacle or golden syrup, whatever you're using, will just glide quickly off the spoon for you. So you don't have that awful trail of sticky honey <laughs> running from the spoon. See? Yeah. There we go. Uh, now, that done. That's all done. That's done now. We're just going to combine those ingredients together. You'd be glad that's all that's taken. I, I am glad that that's done. <laughs> <laughs> now, here I have 225 grams, that's eight ounces, of our uh, coarse whole meal. You can also use, use wheat meat, which has just extra white flour in it, and you get a bit better volume from your bread. But use the coarse whole meat or, um, or the wheat meat. Now, always, as like we said before, sieve your bread soda in case it's lumpy. So 11 teaspoonful of bread soda, Alan, mm -hmm. and 11 teaspoonful of cinnamon. Now, actually, you don't taste the cinnamon really in the bread. It actually brings out the nuttiness of the... Um, of the bread after baking. So in with our dry ingredients, it just couldn't really be easier. And we just combine the dry ingredients with the liquid ingredients. Now, if you like at this stage, you could add some flaked almonds. And I have some flaked almonds here. It's going to toss them in on top. Are there flaked and almonds in this one, Catherine? Forgot to put them in last night, Alan. <laughs> you, oh, because you know I don't like flaked almonds, so this is perfect for me then. Yeah, I left them out. I forgot them. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's roughly what the mixture looks like. A nice sloppy mixture. So we're just going to transfer that now to the prepared tin. And have your oven preheated to 150 centigrade. That's 300 Fahrenheit, gas mark 4. We just transfer that in like so. And before you spread it in the tin, take your spatula and make sure you've all the ingredients removed. Now, a tip here, Alan, once you've added the liquid, don't go taking the clothing off the liner from the kettle, because if you do that, it will start to dry out. The gram in the power will absorb the liquid on you. So, there we go. Now, last, before going into the oven, Alan, take your heated spoon, there's water on the back of it, and you spread it out easily. Right, yeah. Now, well, there we go. Just how long, spread it out easily. How long would it go in the oven for? That's what it looks like. Yeah. And it's going in for about 30 to 45 minutes. So, wow. And now we have one. So do you just keep an eye on the catcher so it's, not, it's just browning on the top and that's enough? That's all you need. Now, to test it, if you just press it on top, and if it springs back, it's baked. You can also toss it out of the tin and just tap the bottom part, and it'll have a hollow sound. And if it doesn't, right, Catherine, yeah. would you put it back in for another few minutes then? You could, absolutely. Yeah. Now, I leave it in the tin oven for about five to ten minutes, and then to store it, 
wrap it in greaseproof paper and tin foil. Mm -hmm. Never put tin foil near the near your bread because sometimes they get sweat and go moldy. So when it's gone completely cold, wrap it in greaseproof paper and then tin foil, and you're ready for off. And obviously, you could freeze it then as well, Catherine. Yeah. Well, it freezes very well. And just a tip again, Alan, for people who are living on their own, um, making a loaf like that, if you take the full loaf out of the freezer, it goes stale quicker by the time you get to use it all. So cut it into slices when it's cold and freeze individual slices. Catherine, do you know what it is? It's so moist inside. Isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it makes a huge difference. The full fat yogurt and the egg is what helps that. So much beautiful. It really is. Yeah, I must say I love it. We're going to eat the whole thing. How are you anyway? Oh, I was delighted to find weather yesterday, Alan. Yeah. Giving us oh, all a I bit of a cheer. Right there out the 40 foot. That's, a, that's a bit outside my 5K. I can't wait to get out to sea point in the 40 foot when this is lifted. Well, hopefully in the next just, few weeks. And you're, to see, to see, but you're getting out, you're doing your walking, you're keeping fit. And I'm keeping my bicycle going. Yeah. Well, we'll catch up with you soon and we'll see how okay, you're getting well, on. Brilliant. OK, brilliant. look, a lovely talking to you. Thanks so much. This is delicious, by the way. Absolutely delicious. Good, good. See now, you next week. See you next week, yes. <laughs> it is actually delicious. Now we're going to take a break now, but still lots more to come. We're looking ahead at the Irish Cancer Society's annual fundraiser, Daffodil Day. We'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs>